Okay, we're back to Armageddon part four. Now Satan, as mankind, has a choice. Live like these satanic cannibal Jews who eat your children, or like the original vegetarian it seems. The towns and cities of India were named long before the deluded and devoured cartographers invaded India, only to find the entire nation was named millennia before with Essene Hebrew names. Measuring from Sectana to the South Pole, 6,635.7 or 6636, it from 6638, meaning to array an army against, to swell of an adulterous belly, to cause to swell of an adulterous belly, implying pregnant of Satan or the Jews of Satana, is the Christian world dominated by Judaism today. This is because the Christians are reading the word of the Jew God, lowercase, underscore D, not what I taught concerning God. But now I must intervene. I assure you the Jews are finished. I am going to remove all and sundry off the face of the earth. As the Jews know, I am Almighty God, the Christ, even if Christians do not. The Jews from India are mentioned in Job, the oldest book of the Bible, working for Satan, the Sabian who fell upon his sons. The Sabians equal Satan, evil, found in Job 1.15, who are the Jews from India. Now the word Sabbath, lowercase, is found 115 times in the King James Version and is the English gematria for go lightly. Sabbath means Shiva or seven. Jesus speaking, I am the Sabbath. All lowercase in the KJB in the name Adam's Peak, but to the North Pole, 449, rather 4990 is Greek and Saviour. The drawing shows the red line 5,550 kilometres to my birth home. 555 times Christ is found within 522 verses of the KJV. And thanks to Trevor Riley for sharing this with us today, that 144,000 divided by 3168 is 45.4545 repeater, and that is the pyramid height in feet, 454.5 feet. And also we've got the 45 days of Daniel. There we have Satana, India, measuring to the South Pole, 6636 from 6638, Satana, one of the five cities of Sodom and Gomorrah meaning to cause to swell of an adulterous belly. The area within the triangle from Mount Kalash to Satana in India to Yad Rebirth Home 7112 means cut asunder in pieces in thunder of utmost. The length of the three legs, 21790.2 kilometres, 2179, again cut off the rear, smite the hindmost. And again, the red line, 5550 nautical miles from Mount Kalash to the rebirth home of the park. And again, is the number of times that Christ is found within 522 verses in the KJV 1611. Now, this is quite remarkable when you look at the information and, and what the measure is telling the reader of the measure, the reader of the earth, the earth is the book, the only way to read it is to measure it. India, when measured, 
along the 20 degree north latitude from beach to beach. So that's the bottom line there is 888.88 miles. Then from Satana, worse than Sodom and Gomorrah, to the east coast of the 888.88 mile line is 792 miles. The Earth is 7,920 miles wide. The distance to the west coast 888.88 mile point is 105 miles. Now this tells us where I was reborn into the pit of hell or the heat of hell, 105 Rothschild Avenue, Sydney, Australia. And that home location is 3,875 miles to the South Pole. And in the Greek concordance is the word for comforter, so it's describing who Yara is. Into a world that rejects me, fulfilling the Matthew 21 42 prophecy, the stone the builders rejected. So that Christianity, the builders being Christianity, the 666 churches of Solomon. And the Jews target Damascus found in the area of 18,347 square miles. 1834 in the Hebrew Concordance is Damascus. So obviously the dimensions of India was laid out in creation before the earth existed. And they will not be able to have Damascus for Yah is protecting Damascus belonging to him. We are reading the earth the destruction of the earth did not wipe out all life. This is another corruption of Genesis. There are 600 flood stories from around the earth. In Australia, for example, Stairs Rock, Uluru, is a pillar lava formation that was washed to the earth during the flood, so it came from Mars. There are, in fact, nine similar pillar lava locations on the earth. Measuring from Uluru to the South Pole, 4,467 miles in the Hebrew concordance means kingdom, dominion, reign, sovereignty. 1,335 Tumar Rebirth home is Guel in the Hebrew concordance meaning majesty of God. In the Greek concordance it's righteous judgment of God. If this was so, who are the dogs on the outside of the city from the Revelation 22.15? reading from verse 12, quoting, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Verse 13, I am Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, the first and the last. 14, blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. Verse 15, for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Looking at the diagram on the right there, there is 20 degree latitude, 888.88 miles across India. 888, of course, seeing uh, Jesus in Greek, Gemma Tria. In Ceylon, or Sri Lanka, the Garden of Eden, where Noah and family were returned to, then came Lucifer, building a causeway. Once more, the 20 degree latitude across India, the Jesus numbering mile 792, is also the word star in Greek, but Menaphal in Hebrew, and 79.20 is the earth width. 105 is eagle or angel in Greek geometria, and my birth home address 105 Rothschild Avenue, Sydney, Australia. The 18.34 is Damascus. The distance from Damascus to the North Pole is Jerusalem. Not the present world delusion. Damascus at latitude 33.30 north. 
So we have the Jews in Freemasonry 333, set to be devoured by the USA and want a world war because of it. Satana, that is, the Jews of Rothschild, a sign in my rebirth location at 105 Rothschild Avenue. Then India at 88.88 miles wide, Jesus, and Jupiter 88,888 miles wide. And then we have January 25th, 1944, the solar eclipse measuring from the 25 degree north latitude, 25th of January being 14 days after my rebirth on January 11th, 1944, and the eclipse measuring 8,888.88 from my rebirth home, which measures 3,875 miles south to the south pole, 3875 in the Greek accordance with the word comforter. Now here we have the January 25th, 1944 uh, solar eclipse where it crossed the 25 degree north latitude where it measures the Earth's rebirth location, you can see there. However, measuring to uh, the west coast of the 20 degree north latitude, We've got 4,397 kilometres. That from the Greek concordance, meaning proceeding from the prophet or prophetic. The new length there from the eclipse location to the east coast side of India, there at the 20 degrees north latitude, 5487, in Hebrew meaning to be fulfilled, completed, to put an end to. Then in the miles, this one is in nautical miles, the 5487, but the length in miles, 7208, to give an area in square miles of 151,856 square miles, so you've got 1518 from 1521 meaning lead into the river of paradise. From Satana to my rebirth home is 6,304 miles and in the Hebrew meaning redemption, redeem or ransom. So the world's problems started in India, the many faces of Cain multiplying, infiltrating endlessly, recreating Sodom and Gomorrah, evident in the internet or Hollywood TV or in the homosexual community if a cesspool can be called a community. There is only one answer, destruction. Let all nations follow the example of the President of the Philippines, President Duterte, and the sooner the better. Going back to Shiva is the Lord of the Sabbath, the Lord of Yoga, fulfilling the seven chakras. Shiva meant seven throughout the ancient world. Zechariah, the Akaraya, and the number seven. How the Sabbath got its name, names of Shiva in the Old Testament, relevant to the Sabbath. Shiva, number Hebrew, 7651, or Siva, Seva, Saba. The ancient Hebrew word Shabbat, meaning Sabbath, has its root in Shiva, meaning seven, and Shabbat. Sabaoth, meaning the military lord of hosts, has its root in Saba, which also transliterates as Shiva and Siva. The pillars erected to God in the Torah are named Masiva or Masiva. Both variants use the name of Shiva or Siva. However, the original male deity of Judaism is never addressed as Shiva a transliteration of Shiva for obvious reasons. It would disclose the original deity of Judaism as being Sabian, that is, followers of Saba, aka Shiva and Siva, all of which are named of Shiva. The deity Shiva, venerated by mainstream Hindus, commands vegetarianism as a diet, compassion for animals, and does not respect caste or classes. He therefore does not at all fit in with what has become 
orthodox Judaism and Christianity, religions, or more properly speaking, sects, which promote animal sacrifice as a diet, and elitist societies of rich and poor. The term elitist societies of rich and poor may be regarded as a euphemism for slavery in one degree or another. Slavery is an institution which is portrayed as acceptable in both the Old and New Testament as well as in the Quran. Reading from Job 1.15, And the Sabians, the brackets, Jews, fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. So within the 942 verses of first, or rather the, the uh, book of First Chronicles, uh, most specifically the most important verse, First Chronicles 5.13, there are seven names. Shiva, meaning seven, the names are shown with their concordance numbers. Quoting, and their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael, and Meshalam, and Sheba, and Uriah, and Yakan, and Zia, and Heba, seven. Sheba is 7652, and seven is numbered 7651. Also Sheba, the seven names total, 31106, and then divided by the seven names for an average of 4,443.7142. The 4,443 is the number of times that the word God is found within 3,877 verses in the King James 1611. And the 3,877, of course, is the distance to the South Pole in miles from my rebirth location into the maternity ward at St. Margaret Hospital, Darling, Perth. It is also Jesus born June 17th, 2 BC and died 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 days later on April the 3rd, 33 AD. The point 714, 714 is the reference to Isaiah 714 and the 2 is Father or Ab in the Hebrew Concordance. Now the days of Jesus, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, multiplied by I being the witness, this happens to equal 38,776.6, hello, 3877.6 miles is the distance to the South Pole from the maternity ward. So from my life of Jesus to resurrection, the location is tied together. Reading verse 14 from First Chronicles chapter 5. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. I take that, 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 that's uh, Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. The 7, 1, 4. Now I have built two homes in Canada. 444.3 kilometres apart. So adding the concordance number 7651 for the word 7 to the total of the seven names, 31106, is a total of 38,757. So then we are right back to the comforter number 3875 miles to the South Pole from the rebirth home location and the number for 7, Shiva or Shiva. So when you divide the total by 8, it just happens to be the height of the finished pyramid, so that's the pyramid in its fullness, 484.4 feet. 625 is harvest. Pyramid feet. Pyramid feet, uh, just saying. Now, Matthew 123, let's read it once more. Behold, the virgin shall be with child. And shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is with God with us. Now the Greek gematria for that verse is 8,880. And here we go, full circle, back to my age, in days, in part Port Alberni, Canada, and my border, border, and my daughter, <laughs> Tracy Lee, was born, it was May the 4th, 1968. 
when the sun rises, the sun sets is 888 years. <laughs> now, I mean, you know, those of you... It's all marvellous, isn't it? It, it is. It's all, it's all remarkable, wonderful, marvellous. And this fabulous tapestry that only a few understand. And uh, if you didn't catch that before, the earth is the book that Young yeah. reads. That's why in the Revelation it talks about the earth opening up as the woman is, is um, escorted into the wilderness by uh, the wings of a great eagle and the, because she's been devoured by the flood out of the beast, the dragon. Well, that's the flood of all the words from every pastor, preacher, teacher, evangelist, pope, whatever you want to call it, oh, from please. all of the churches. Yes! <laughs> Optometrist. <laughs> the flood of the words and it is total bullshit. As, as you know now, being absolutely devoured by the Jews, Judaism, and it all goes back to the Satan. So the woman escapes into the wilderness, but the earth opens up to help her. Well, this is how the earth opens up, because it is a book. And the only one who can read the book of the earth, you would expect to be the Lord Jesus Christ. When he is back, he goes, hold on, wait on, this is not what I taught. What is this delusion that everybody's believing in? And he has to judge what it is that has happened for the last two, well, 1910 years from resurrection to conception. So it's but all Paul about the oh, but yes. No, yes, so you get all the deluded wankers out of the churches, the Christians, the 66 churches of Solomon. Yes, but Paul says, but saved by grace, I don't have to do it. I'm, I'm thinking about that guy at the golf club, the old, the old do. <laughs> I'm saved by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. He died for me because he loved me. Man, I really wanted to save him. No, he hates you. You have been totally <laughs> deceived and the world is the way it is because of wankers like you. You don't believe you have to do anything. You're playing your golf every week now. You're in your 70s, verging 80s, and cracking on with your other buddies who are just as deluded. And, and you're trying to debate the signs of the time and what Jesus said. So when you're given the good news, <laughs> don't want to know. But, 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 but I'm, I'm saved by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. He died for me. He did not. He died to judge you because you're a total f -wit. And everybody else out there who's listening, who believe, and you go crapping on, it's just remarkable. It is, it's amazing. It is amazing. Amaz there, there is no amazing grace for anybody like you. The only grace that applies is those who humble themselves like small children and become like a child. A child who knows nothing, yet recognizes his father in a crowd. That's the only adult that will make it into the kingdom. The true are the words, unless you become like a small child, you will not enter nor see the kingdom of God. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, back to the Chronicles 5.13. You can just contemplate this for a moment in your yoga position. <laughs> Back to Shiva. <laughs> and uh, auspicious one. There we go. You were or a suspicious one. <laughs> oh, suspicious. Oh. <laughs> He's one of the principal deities of a form of Ishvara, meaning God, representing one of the three primary aspects of the divine, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, collectively as a trimurti. In the trimurti system, Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the maintainer or preserver, and Shiva is the destroyer or transformer, former, <laughs> transformer. Within Shaiva tradition, he is viewed, viewed as the supreme deity. Now, the description of Shiva is referred to as the good one or the auspicious one. <laughs> How would you call you Lord auspicious? <laughs> oh, auspicious. Do you know how to spell auspices? Yes, I do. We've been through this before, babe. <laughs> Publicly on the record. <laughs> Shiva, Rudra, is considered to be the destroyer of evil and sorrow. Shiva Shankara is the doer of good. 
Shiva is trinetra or three-eyed, <laughs> and is Nina Kanta, blue neck, having consumed poison to save the world from destruction. Shiva Naharaja is the divine cosmic dancer. Shiva Adhanariswara is both man and woman. He is both static and dynamic and is both creator and destroyer. He is the oldest and the youngest. He is the eternal youth as well as the infant. This is what it's all about. Yara just last night and this morning is saying to me, he is here on the earth as the God and he is preserving the child which is God. You start off with God, my God's image, and then you get corrupted by the Jews. That's right. Go back to being a child. He is the source of fertility in all living beings. He has gentle as well as fierce forms. Shiva is the greatest of denouncers as well as the ideal lover. He destroys <laughs> evil and protects good. He bestows prosperity on worshippers, although he is austere. He is omnipresent and resides in everyone as pure consciousness. Shiva is inseparable from Shakti, Pavati, the daughter of Hamavan, Haimavati. There is no Shiva without Shakti and there is no, no Shakti without Shiva. The two are one, or the absolute state of being, consciousness and bliss. In some views, Shiva is the third form of God as one of the primordial, popularly called the Hindu trinity. In the Trimurti, Shiva is the destroyer, while Bra Brahma and Vishnu are creator and preserver, respectively. However, even though he represents destruction, he is viewed as a positive force, because he is the destroyer of evil, since creation follows destruction. Other views contend that Siva produces Vishnu, who produces Brahma, and thus creation begins, within which the cycle of the Trimurti exists. So Shiva origins and general information, Shiva meaning seven in Hebrew, number 7651, is the first and most intensive stage in the process of healing from a loss. The sages declared that the first three days of Shiva are especially marked by expressions of grief, while the remaining days are characterized by healing and hope. While it is appropriate to observe all seven days of Shiva, there is therefore some basis to view the first three days as the time when a mourner needs the greatest amount of attention and comfort. As this word is Hebrew, then Shiva is derived from ancient Hebrew, and why the cities and towns in India are Hebrew names, not to be confused with the era of Judaism that began long after the descendants of Cain, that is the non-human Jews, migrated to Babylon and from there established the myths of Moses and Mosaic laws around 800 BC. The Shiva god is ancient. Then the descendants of Cain, the Salian, numbered Hebrew 5433, giants attacked righteousness in India. The city of the Salians was far worse in sin than Sodom and Gomorrah being descended from Cain and is where the city of Satana, or Satan, originated. Reading Joel 3, 8, And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off. For the Lord has spoken it. So this is Lucifer speaking. The Sabians in the Hebrew Concordance 7, 6, 15 and 14, we see the numbers this time, relate to the Queen of Sheba as a distraction. 7615, Sheba E, patronymic from 7614, a Shebaite or descendant of Sheba. It is generally accepted the concept of a common bond between Jews and Sabians can be shown to be the equivalent of the word saboteur, that is, Hebrew, that the Sabians of the common 
of the common origin of Jews and India, a common feature linking Brahmins with Jews is that of cow worship. Jews even today are searching for the red heifer without spot, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke. From Numbers 19, 2. In other words, the Jews are barking mad. And this goes back to the dog without oh, it's it's Sabbatur. It's the word Sabbatur. Oh, Sabbatur. Sabbatur, that's where we're coming from. It's Sabbatur. Right. Sabian, Sabbatur. But yes, of course. Of course. Oh, here we go. Yav had a bit of fun with it. All, all, all the words in yellow here are Yav's uh, today. <laughs> Parables, if you like. <laughs> Reading Numbers from 19. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, While standing on one leg, hold his hands to keep balance. This is the audience, audit, ordinance of the law which the Lord, Lucifer, hath commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring thee a red heifer without spot, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke. Then Yah said, Sneak up on it, and ye shall give her unto Eliaster the priest, that he may bring her forth without the camp, and one shall slay her before his face. And Eliaster the priest shall take of her blood with his finger, and sprinkle of her blood, directly before the tabernacle of the congregation seven times. Yah says, or if that does not work, catch a gallon in a bucket while her heart is pumping blood from her juggler vein. That is while she is still alive in a panic. Be as cruel as possible, then butcher her, tearing off her skin and chop her up in bits. And one shall burn the heifer in his sight, her skin and her flesh and her blood, with her dung shall he burn. And the priest shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scallop and cast it into the midst of the burning of the heifer. Then the priest shall wash his clothes and he shall bathe his flesh in water and afterward he shall come into the camp and the priest shall be unclean until the even or about tea time, late afternoon before supper. And he that burneth her shall wash his clothes in water and bathe his flesh in water, and shall be unclean until the even. And a man that is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer, and lay them up without the camp in a clean place. And it shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel, for a water of separation. It is a purification for sin. And he that gathereth the ashes of the heifer shall wash his clothes, and be unclean until the evening. And it shall be unto the children of Israel, and unto the stranger that sojourneth among them, for a statute forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, forever and ever. <laughs> I think not. <laughs> Are they barking mad or not? Are they? Oh, they are. Totally We're actually looking for a red heifer now in America. Yes, I know that it's all part of their, their signs and their wonders. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, or... Oh, well, Trump's daughter would love that. Oh, absolutely. So you has here, or... <laughs> we can read the earth, or the book that has everybody trapped through the eyes of God himself. The name Ezekiel is found within the book of Ezekiel, 48 chapters, only twice, in Ezekiel 1.1 1, 1 and Ezekiel 24.24. What is important about Ezekiel is the <coughs> concordance numbers, for Ezekiel is number 3168, Hello, Lord Jesus Christ in Greek, Demetria. So it's a sign. It's a sign for Yah, so that he can reveal what is going on in the world of the barking man. <coughs> the number is the distance around the earth through my home on Nell Street. 31,680 kilometers. And in Greek geometria, Lord is 800, Jesus 888, and Christ is 1480. Add them all together, you've got 3168, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Ezekiel 24, 24. Thus Ezekiel is unto you a sign. According to all that he hath done shall ye do. And when this cometh ye shall know that I am the Lord God. The first number, 24, 24, is the number for the name Jesus within the Greek concordance. Prophetic time is displaced by the unfinished period. Without the outer layer, a garment of Jesus, the Lord God, the top capstone cannot be placed as the sides form a point in space. Five seven five rather five seven six seven point four eight. So this is pyramid inches high. 5767.48, but the full height must be 5813 pyramid inches to reach the fullness of time. The number 5767 in the Greek concordance refers to or describes an action which is viewed as having been completed in the past, once and for all, not needed to be repeated. In the Hebrew 5767, is from 5768, from 5763 meaning children, infant, babe, child, little one, or child, boy. But the height today up onto the summit platform is 5449 pyramid inches and is the same number as Isaiah 19 verses 19 and 20. There's just 30 letters with a Hebrew gematria, the same as the summit today. So it's short. The 5449 is short of the 5767.48 pyramid inches by 318.48, which again is the height of the completed pyramid when the reduced base from 36524.24 is less, the displacement factor of 286.1. So we're talking about the um, smaller base, the reduced size of the pyramid, its completion. This means that without calculating to the full height based on the 36524.24 pyramid inch, which gives the height of 5813 pyramid inches, subtracting the 5767.48 leaves 45.52 pyramid inches short. And we're back to the 455 feet high to the present summit platform. 45.52 pyramid inches short. So we are going back in time at the moment to the I lured the Jews into charging me with altering a businessman's check. It was handed to me to write it out and he thought he could rip me off by, by $20,000. I told him my uncle was the head of the taxation department and suddenly realised I had him trapped. I wrote it too in front of what he wrote, which was 4050, making it 24,050, and wrote it out in writing. And it was made out to my wife, P. Marshall. I took it to the bank the next day. It was my birthday. Then... 45. 40, yes, so it was um, 1989. Yes. There's a number again. That's right. 45 days of Daniel. Right. And then 1999, so 10 years later, well, in a 36 foot trailer filled with my brother's junk, the kitchen cupboard door swung open, and the book, The Australian Mercantile Law, 9th edition, House of Lords, from 1827, fell onto the table, open at page 255. Jesus spoke, do the numbers. I said, what? Do the numbers. And the vowel total, 3168, Lord Jesus Christ. However, between my birth as Jesus on June 17th, 2 BC, 
And my rebirth on January 11, 1944, there is 24,050 lunations, each lunation being 29.53052 days. So the point is, yes, I was 45 years old, which lines up with 45 days of Daniel. You've got 1290 days of Daniel plus the 45 equals the 1335 days. Now, the deal with the businessman was to pay the tool hire company for equipment I required to do the work for him. On the next slide, we'll see uh, that he did not pay it and my check bounced. As soon as the cop told me, I paid it. The value plus the dishonor charge totaled $313.44. Here is that check dated the 11th of October 1988, which just happened to be your mother's rebirth <laughs> day, <laughs> October the 11th. Oh my goodness. So she would have been 76, 76 on that day. Mm. Yeah. I had started the work on my uh, mother's birthday in 1988. The company Coast Hire was on land sold to them by my uncle, Bob Go Lightly. I played there as a three-year-old. The check, $306.96. 3069 is Yehovi, a variation of 3068, used after 136 and pronounced by Jews at 4.30 in order to prevent the repetition of the same sound, since they elsewhere pronounce 306 as 136. In other words, got. <laughs> Add the NSF charge of $6.50, I had to pay $313.44. All right, that number is 30694, not 96. All right. Um, 3134 is Maranatha of Chaldee origin, meaning our Lord has come. Maranatha. It's an explanation of the approaching divine judgment. Maranatha. My third wife, Michelle, was raised on Dundas Road, Preston in Melbourne, and it measures 3134 nautical miles from the South Pole. 